Here I am in Soundtrap. I've finished my recording. I clicked already on File, and then I clicked Save. And now I'm ready to export. So I hover over Export, and then I click on MP3 file. Look what happens down here. It automatically downloads the file to my Downloads folder on my hard drive of this computer. So I could click this, and it would open up the file to play it right here on my computer. Or I can click the arrow and choose Show in Folder. And now I'll see it right there in my uh, Downloads folder. Once we've got it downloaded, we're going to log in to SoundCloud.com. And once you've entered SoundCloud.com into Safari or Chrome or whatever you're using, click this button Sign In in the top right corner. Then click on Continue with Google. Here you should be able to enter your Sacred Heart account um, password and email address, then click Next, enter your password, and here we go, we're in. Now we have to create our SoundCloud account, so first click Accept and Continue. Next we can enter our age, it only accepts ages of 13 and older. You can choose a drop-down option for gender and click Continue. It might ask you for a name for the account, and it may also send you an email and ask you to uh, verify your email address through the email that you receive in your mailbox. But hopefully it takes us straight to this screen. Once you're in, you can click on the Upload button to the right of the search bar. So let me click on Upload. There's Upload. I can click on Choose a File to Upload. And then I can pick a particular file that I'd like to upload. So I can scroll through. The file that you downloaded will be in your Downloads folder, so you'll want to find Downloads. And then Daniel Song, click Open. OK. I can give it a new title if I want. I can make it public or private. It's really only searchable, if you make it public, it's only searchable by the title and by any description or tags that you add. So I'm not going to add a genre or tags or anything like that. Uh, I do want it to be public so that, you know, maybe some friends who know the title could find it. But I'll just go ahead and click Save. OK, ready. And it's finished because this was such a short file. So now we're going to click Go to your track. Click that blue text, Go to your track, right where you see your song name. Now it's time to get what we need to share this with our teacher. So click on the Share button down here below Write a Comment. A pop-up box appears. Whoops. Click on the Embed tab. Click into the box below Code. And once it's highlighted, right click and hit copy. You can, instead of clicking the copy button, you can also hold Control C on your keyboard if you wish. Once you've copied that, you can open up your Gmail. Uh, you can oh, compose a new message, address it to your teacher, and paste that code into the body of the message so that your teacher has it. And that's it.